Narrate, path to chat. Narrate, path to chat. Chose destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. Lord Vader's orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma 9 loadout. No. 
Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Rebel death, imperial victory. No problem. All systems up and running. Pre-flight complete. Let's get a clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. Sensor, online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Ah, oh, the rest of the fleet is back from Malastair. We'll have plenty of help to deal with that convoy of sympathizers. your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots, follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate flight controls. Not a problem. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. From inside, forget how big our Star Destroyers really are. Shields won't harm us. Flying so close to the hull is no time to get careless. You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. It looks like someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Distance helix. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. Hmm. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Tie pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. Good. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gozanti transport is ready. Helix squadron. Head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Understood. Follow down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage.
past our haven. Probably the most isolated trading post in this sector. It's only a haven for thieves and pirates. If the refugees are hiding here, clearly they're not as innocent as they claim.
activity. Pilots down. We have Rebel X-Wings on sensors. Good. Drive these Imperials off my station. They must be protecting the convoy. Defend yourselves if necessary. I'll look for the refugees. Empire's become. 
check shields. Right. We might need to hold out a while. Systems check complete. In formation. Echo 3, matching formation. Echo 2, standing by. Echo 5, standing by. In formation. Okay, squadron. Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U-Wing for resupply. safely. Echo 4, now, on me. Now, fire all boost thrusters!
know how this Imperial fleet operates. I can tell they're prepping their capital ships for an attack right now. We need backup. All right, I'll send you the rest of Echo Squadron with everything they've got. Heading towards a Star Destroyer, again. Facing its turrets this time. It's okay, our fleet's coming. Well, not fast enough. It is now at your location. Echo Squadron, keep the convoy safe while the flagship engages the Vigilance. Leave it to us. Wait. The Empire is sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. We have to take that raider down. Pilot, with me!
innocent lives. And mine. Convoy's ready to jump. Thank you. We'll tell everyone what the Rebel Alliance did for us. Bound to all Rebel Alliance forces. The refugee convoy is safe. All ships, prepare for light speed. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on Shattered though it may be, as I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarel the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Ah, you've arrived. Excellent. Otto, 
Meet our new Vanguard Five. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them, then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well... I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. Hello. Grace Sali of Atara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to stardust. I trust you will, too. See you out there. Oh, hey! I'm Kyo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. <sighs> nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name. And only when she's mad. <laughs> I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? <laughs> Or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn. That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Deathmark or not. Say, you play Sabak? 
I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh, go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. Ah, the X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good old rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. Power management systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Quiet, tin can. We got a pre-flight check to do. Radar. Working like a dream. Loadout data. Looking good. Combat display? Check. Primary weapons. Charged up. Ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost? Good to go. Hull integrity. Never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Mech got dusted. 
Someone really didn't want these scouts getting home. Hey, I'm picking up a second signal. Let's check it out. Follow me.
are protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Gunny. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Sure thing. 
I knew you'd work well together. I'm grateful to command such a strong squadron. Come on back to the Temperance. Thank you, Commander Javes. We'll celebrate a job well done at the cantina. Come on, Vanguard, let's get out of here. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Kyo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the holonet. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins. No, wait! Delon Vu. Yeah, that's it! Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vu's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Commander's waiting. I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have heard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we'll rendezvous with the Temperance. 
Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. The commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystem. Let's do it! Putting power to forward 
shields. All that damage and this thing still has teeth. No wonder Talascript took a beating just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go up in flames, but stealing it. <laughs> I like that even better. Get over to her frisk. 
Sites. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard of Vanguard. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew will be a problem with no computer access and all the blast doors locked. We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victorum without a fight. Vanguard, take down that cruiser.
me Vanguard. Let's regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors! We've got another Imperial carrier! Make that three carriers! That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in! Taking control now! Star Destroyer's taken down its own carrier. What a sight! Yes! The ship is ours! You actually did it! And Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos Group to save Harper. Great work. General Sedula will be impressed. Wedge. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Lender, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. Wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
destroyed. Great. Just need time to restart our systems. Work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even one Imperial shuttle reaches us, we'll be overwhelmed. You heard him, Vanguard. Intercept those shuttles. We should split up to take them down. May I join you? On it. You handle the other shuttle.
that's the last of them. Your timing couldn't be better. We're almost done. Our bombers are out of here. Thanks for the backup. We're doing our final test, Vanguard. Spread out and keep watch. <sighs> nice moves back there, Keo. You gotta teach the rest of the squadron that drift. You wanna learn right now? Nah, I'll watch five figure it out first. Okay, follow me. I learned this racing in the Koshi Star Circuit. First, transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as Vanguard, what do you say we get out of here? Regrouping on your position, Victorum. On your way. Just send you the coordinates. 
Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it.
Jump coordinates, Vanguard. Affirmative. See you on the other side, Victor. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I've given you the tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloane. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, Sol. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Rick. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. 
I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Javes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorn, Like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. If only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps.
You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our Emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. <laughs> Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. The TIE Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. Your loadout, however, is not standard. And again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. Good choice. Hoped you'd pick that. Very good then.
see. Our path is clear. Advance on the outpost. That's how it's done, Titan. What? They breached our missile defenses. Scramble fighters, take down those ties. I wish I could see the panic inside that station right now.
fine now. Thanks. Pay attention behind you. Damn. Shields disabled. Titan Squadron. We'll keep you safe, Gladius. Let's get you to the outpost's landing platform. Affirmative, Squadron Leader. We'll be gone before the Rebel fleet even knows we were here. Lucky I was here. That wasn't necessary. Heads up, Squadron. Enemy A-wings are deploying from the station. Don't let them intercept our shuttle. Don't let them attack the shuttle!
Stay locked on.
Let's leave this wretched system. Information ready. More rebel ships inbound. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. The TIE Reaper is a specialist model made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. With this loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion...
That's quite the convoy just to protect rebel engineers. Why not destroy them and stop those gearheads from reaching their destination? Patience, Von Reg. We'll have plenty of new targets once we locate Project Starhawk. Yes, sir. You're right. It's smarter to hit them at the source than slow them down. Advance through the debris. Keep this up. You're approaching too quickly. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Vashar? How could I forget? We strike when the moment is right, not simply because we can. We're off their radar. Attention! The Star Destroyer Tormentor is emerging from hyperspace near the debris field. Oh no. He can't be serious. Captain Amos! What is the meaning of this? You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. I will not show the same mercy. Fire the missiles! We can't lose this convoy! Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles! Captain Amos! You are compromising a delicate mission! Delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new Republic is the only mission. Titan 3, shoot down the missiles! That colossal idiot! Convoy's alerted to our presence. No way we'll track their jump now! Strange feeling, saving ripples. Captain Amos, this is foolish! The Tormentor is severely damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Just look at the wreckage around him. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered, broken. Yours, I assume. Every victory has its price. Lucky I was here. Stay focused. Stop that scanner convoy. Saving the rebels from Imperial missiles. If the enemy thinks we're saviors now, it won't last long. The sensors are jammed. Can't see you. That missile made contact. Wait for me to reload. Titan, the Tormentor is firing another missile volley. We'll take them down. The convoy is getting hammered. Practice makes perfect. Shield ought to keep you safe. Deploying 
They're blind blind. Shame them. Let's get a shield on that shuttle. Take it out. Y wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. You're gonna like that.
got it. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard... everything? She only cares about finding her Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Temperance, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Arno and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away.
When you get to the core, start dropping bombs and do not stop. You won't have much time to get out once the core explodes, so be ready to fly fast. Squadron, our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. Congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer and hopefully capture Teresa. Now it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. You got your choice of fighters for this mission. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. Guaranteed to satisfy. As you can see, 
I wasn't exaggerating about the dangers of the Xavian Abyss. Yeah. Look at that lightning. And we got word that Teresa Carroll has taken the bait. Her flagship overseer is closing in. Good luck, Vanguard. Protect that convoy. And see you on the other side. Ooh, you can feel it, right? Chaos on every side. We don't belong here. I'd hate to see what does. Hey, what happens once the Starhawk disables the Overseer? The same as the Victorum, I expect. Board it, lock its systems, and take the crew prisoner. I don't know, Grace. I can't imagine Teresa Carroll coming along quietly. I hate these clouds. Who knows what's out there? We know what's out there. A Star Destroyer with a captain who wants us dead. Real helpful. Thanks, Gunny. The convoy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer through these asteroids. Then let's blast them a path.
this way. Ready? Let's go. Target. 
Titan. That convoy's Nava computer had the sector and system we've been looking for. <laughs> we've got them right where we want them. <laughs> Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Alpha Rem, Remetic system, grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grawn. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graham, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> he wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well... Lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, no judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, 
their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack, and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire, therefore they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Baradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Baradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Baradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium, halt the Rebel Assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters, and that's what you do best. I think you'll be happy with it. Excellent choice. it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. Titan Squadron, split up and patrol the depot. Find the Baradium before any rebels arrive. Copy, Grid. Titan 3, follow me. are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. Final 
across the deep end.
get out. Enemies are moving on tower three.
Hostiles are on the run. They'll be back. With friends. <laughs> Let them. We'll send them fleeing again. Titan Squadron, LT-514 will remote pilot the cargo ships to the Overseer. Turrets first. Focus fire on its turrets. 
see it? Take it out. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graum. Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan Three, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it.
For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE Fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice. Excellent choice. Let's talk modifications. Very good then.
Take it out. Shut those traps. 
medical frigate. A medical frigate? Is it carrying patients? No. Bacter and Stims. But losing medical supplies in wartime is far more devastating.
you got?
Let's talk. Our diversion was a success. Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. Consider outfitting your bomber to handle New Republic fighters as well as their capital ships. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're cleared to give you Beradium explosives. Good choice. Hoped you'd pick that. Very good then. What can I get for you? I'll get right on it.
fighters headed your way. Did you think we wouldn't put up a fight? How you spend your final moments is of no concern to me. Titan, engage! You got a lock on me. I got you. They're right behind you. You're welcome. Nice work. Teresa, 
Violence follows wherever you go. Fostar Haven, Hosni and Prime, Decebro, Moncala. History will remember what side you chose. History has no sides, only survivors. Our shields will hold, only as long as we let them. Titan, destroy the dockyard shield generators. Understood.
without shields. This won't take long. Titan, we need to fly past that Starhawk to hit their generators. It won't be a problem. All units report in. You're wasting your breath. They're dead. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Fostar Haven, Hosnian Prime, DeSevril, Moncala. History will remember what side you chose. History has no sides. Only survivors. Our shields will hold. Only as long as we let them. Titan, destroy the dockyard shield generators. Understood. Evacuating the station. 
You came for the Starhawk, not civilians. Let them go. No survivors, Titan Squadron. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. So much for Project Starhawk. Captain, they've launched corvettes to cover the civilian escape. Show no mercy. Titan, take out their ships. If you see transports, take them down too. I want that gone. This is a distress call to any Republic forces. If you can hear me, the Nadiri dockyards are under attack. Send backup. Lucky I was here. Titan, we've detected enemy corvettes coming out of light speed. That won't save them. We need more fire on that Star Destroyer. She's stalling for time. It doesn't matter. She's already run out. Take it out.
outfitted your bomber with beradium explosives. Happy hunting. Now, Titan Three, attack the Starhawk. Do not let it get away. Starhawk, make your peace. We're leaving and taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long. And taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long enough. Today there will be no escape. Titan 3. General Sindula is aboard the Starhawk. Immobilize it, and the Overseer will deliver the killing blow. Making an attack run. Take it out. I'm hit! Watch your back! I want that gone! Thank me later! Starhawk taking fire! They are impressive! Hit it again, Titan 3! Turn your back on. I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations, fire on that ship! Scrambled out. 
missile guidance systems. We can't let them get away. They won't. Their hyperdrives are too damaged to jump. <laughs> The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But... In order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. <laughs> For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE Bomber or a TIE Reaper. It'll be ready in no time. What do you have in mind? I'll get right on it. Looking for something more personal?
Overseer. Titan is outbound and advancing ahead of the enemy fleet. Excellent. Dismantle their fleet in the debris field. They'll die here or divert the Starhawk into the Ringali Nebula. Squadron, on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Varka. It's an Imperial graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't matter. We can't change what happened. All we can do now is deliver vengeance. Before we're done today, this will be a rebel graveyard too. as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. Exactly, are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. Explosive core located. Inactive. Proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and detonate. No good. Keep scanning for active cores. Explosive core detected. Core located. It's time, squadron. Enemy starfighters have entered your minefield. Affirmative, Overseer. Titan, engage and eliminate. Stray shots could cost us our cores. Precision above all else, pilots. Saul's right. Titan 3, let's cut down these fighters. They're behind you. Take it out. See it? Take it out. Titan 3, 
When their ships are in range, detonate the cores. See it? Take it out. Rebel ship is ready to die. Precision above all else. Their fleet must not reach Chandrilla. Enemy ship is in the kill zone. Take it out. 
picked up a tile. Enemy fighter destroyed. If that detonates, you're dead. That wasn't necessary.
almost in range of the cluster. <sighs> that was close. Wait for the right moment, then give them hell, Titan Three. Lucky I was here. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. But the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Nice. Procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Ready to go. 
see that? Shoot it. See that? Shoot it. to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the commsets. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the Empire away from our commsets. Tactical shield deployed. More ties headed our way. Shields up. Fire on 
that target. And stay down. Consent on the fire. Fire on that target.
Where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sintola has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype. But not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. Ago, the rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jurissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target, the Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally, but a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. begin the briefing momentarily. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. It then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice. You have a good eye. Thank you. 
I'll help you out.
gone.
see it. Take it out. I want that gone. Get out.
best you got. Taking damage. Just your talent. Your willingness to be used by an enemy. 
dare you serve and ask why? Betraying your people from principles doesn't make you noble, Linden. Not in your eyes, maybe, but in the eyes of those that I've saved. His shield regeneration is disabled. He's vulnerable. All right, enough games. No repairs, no shields. Just like my first tie. Let's see how good you really are. End this, Titan Three, Quickly! If you just left and bossed our haven, Teresa, think what you could have achieved. <laughs> well, here's your legacy, Linden. Smoldering wreckage over a broken world. Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron, with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. confirmed what you already knew, Keo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. 
That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we? I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Thanks to your work on the Comsat, Anvil Squadron heard our call, and with Linden Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight, because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic, but here it is. The moon is highly unstable, and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet. And the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-Wing, Y-Wing, you... Pick whichever fighter you need. That'll be fun. Sindula to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've 
never seen anything like it. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a mine. Fire on that target! Leave it to me.
inside the Starhawk. What? It's been evacuated. We have to be sure. Get to the signal origin point before it's too late.
Yes. Confirmed. Enemy fighters closing in. You're good now. It's like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Syndulla sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Javes will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era.